Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a log equation whereby the bases are different. Sometimes I put this question on a grade 12 test and it can sometimes be problematic. So let's go through it together. One thing you can do is use change of base identity. So change of base identity just means that if I have the log of A base B, that's equivalent to the log of A over the log of B. So here, what I could do is just apply that change of base identity for each of the logs. So the second one would be the log of x divided by the log of 3. And then you can just keep the 2 there on the right side. Now, the next thing that you can do is with the change of base identity, the reason why it's called the change of base identity is because you can do this to change the base. So I can change the base to any choice. Uh, it should be an appropriate base, of course. So here you notice 3 and 9 are both powers of 3. So if I just decided to make that 3 and that 3 and maybe that 3 and that 3 there as well, then you can see this is going to really simplify things because the log of 9 base 3 is just 2. And the log of 3 base 3 is just 1. So you can see here too, this is, these are common, uh, common terms like terms whereby I have one half log x base 3 plus just the log of x base 3 equals 2. And I mean, I can go a couple of directions from here. What I could do is I could um, choose to multiply through by 2. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, because these are like, for instance, just look at the log of x base 3, the log of x base 3. Here I have a half of 1, here I have 1. So in total I've got 3 over 2 of them. And you can see we're pretty close to cracking this because what I could do now is, well, I could just multiply both sides by 2 over 3. So if I multiply by 2 over 3, by 2 over 3, then it isolates the log. And now I'm at a, in a position to be able to simply rewrite it from log form to exponential. So I could simply say now that x is equal to 3. Well, 4 times 2 over, sorry, 2 times 2 over 3 is 4 over 3 to the 4 over 3. I could have gone a different route here if I had multiplied through by 2. That would have given me at this stage the log of x base 3 plus log of x base 3. Um, what I'm going to do, well, let me just erase this. I'll put the 2 there. There should be a 2 in front of that. Um, equals 4. And then you could bring this up. Do you see? You could use your power rule. And from there, that would give me the log of x base 3 plus the log of x squared base 3 equals 4. And then I could use my product law by just combining that as a single log. That would be the log of x cubed base 3 equals 4. And then, of course, here you've got x to the 3 equals 3 to the 4. And I could simply raise both sides to the 1 over 3. So raise both sides to the 1 over 3. 1 over 3, 1 over 3, and I'm going to get the same answer. So the final answer would be 3 to the 4 over 3. And there's another way to do it still, like in the original um, sort of adjustment here when I did the change of base identity, if I hadn't taken up, if I hadn't changed it to base 3, then what I could do is factor out a log x. I'll leave this for you to play with. You take out a log x, and then you're left with 1 over log 9 plus 1 over log 3. And you could add those together and then um, play it out that way. Um, it's a little bit more convoluted, but you'd still get the same answer. So there you go. If you're having trouble with your senior math log questions where your bases are different, then uh, maybe this will help you out. Anyway, leave a like on the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you right back here in the next video.